Hello everyone, this is Ancestral Energy, Davidas Lukšas, Holistic Health Coach, and today I want to broaden your understanding about the traditional Chinese medicine and the five elements system, specifically about the earth element. So, what, what in the first place is the five element system? It's an ancient Chinese system where specific forces or expressions of nature were put into these five categories called the five elements which are the wood the fire the earth the metal and and then the the water so uh, today of course we will expand more about the earth elements specifically but um what you should know that the five elements system is explains pretty much everything that is within and is also in the environment which we are embedded with. with. So, uh, in this perspective you can see the five elements in nature, in plants, in animals, within yourself, within your mind, your feelings, your heart, your, your, your flesh, but also in the, in the broader aspects of, of life, so the ecosystems and just the planet as an organism itself. So different, uh, different cultures had different, uh, slightly different uh, understandings of, of these elements. So for example, the Hindu system has, um, instead of the metal element here, the akasha or ether or space. And in the ancient Greek system, we had just air, fire, water, and earth. Here we have wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. So let's dig into this system and specifically into the earth element. So earth element uh, season is late summer where harvest is about to come and there's a state of abundance and uh, there's a state of just this peak, you could say peak state of like nature almost providing everything it has. And that's very much actually I would say related with um, archetypically speaking how uh, earth element is as a person it's this like mother earth archetype so earth element people are very empathic people and they they give a lot they are the people you go to speak with uh, when you have problems and when you when you have when you want to share something deeper and you want to actually be listened and uh, taken in and support it so this is a very grounding and very warming and very accepting uh, element in terms of social relationships the the position uh, or direction of uh, of the earth element is actually uh, the center so if all the four uh, the, f the four surrounding elements so um, uh, wood fire metal and water are around it uh, earth is the center earth is the center and that's why these qualities that i would say stability and grounding for this element are uh, of course crucial because it's a very stable it's a very practical element from from the very good uh, perspectives as well as very realistic people so whereas something like a wood element is very um expansive with ideas and sometimes can lag just okay these are nice ideas and everything how do we apply it how do we put the things to action um earth element is a very practical one so it can put things to practice yeah it can it is good at acting and doing the thing the physical things especially just the the physical labor connection with nature and um, anything that also just uses the body actually so um yeah now if we if we move into maybe some a little bit of the negative aspects which to just uh, give the this in a way like the yin yang aspect so it's the positive side but the negative side is that this uh, element can also be resistant to change because they're so stable and they're so in their own um you could say like comfort zone and uh and other other aspects of it so they they can be stuck in, stuck in this in, in their comfort zone so uh, what we have to uh, kind of 
work as an uh, as an earth element with people is to sometimes accept that little bit of adversity like a little bit of uh, of change and not be resistant to changes because it's it's a natural force of life so at the same time this element can loves actually just chatting and and playing board games and having fun and can stay in one place very for quite a long time where something like a fire element and uh, and a wood element they they need they need to go they need to they they need the motion they need the change so it's just a funny funny uh, maybe just coral like relationship where you can by observing people also just uh, see who who is which element in a way so now the um the other um a very important aspect is uh, the organs that this element governs, which are the stomach and spleen. So, uh, stomach is the yin organ and spleen is the yang organ. So, stomach, of course, you know, is the me mechanical uh, digester or um, it, it mechanically breaks down the food into smaller pieces. That's the, you could say, the first uh, part of digestion. Of course, we also uh, chew the food in, in our mouth and, and saliva coats it and etc but the the major stuff actually happens firstly in the stomach so stomach is of course it's it breaks down the food so and spleen is actually very important is a part of the lymphatic system so it's, it cleans it acts as a filter for for blood and, and it helps to produce red blood cells so it's also um, related as well with immune system and these are two organs that are very important for earth element to nurture more. So what we have to uh, remind also for the earth element is the element that's very prone to overeating and it loves sweets. So, but uh, <laughs> paradoxically, it's the sweets make uh, this element mostly uh, more fat. You could you could call it like that because typically earth elements are also more bulky type of people, a little bit more. They tend to gather just more mass and more fat mass in their bodies so their metabolism is not so active as other elements so um earth element has to be quite careful with uh, eating too much sweets but good foods are root vegetables such as pumpkins and beets and uh yeah all these like roasted uh, um yeah roasted uh, root vegetables uh, as well as spice like cinnamon is very good for for this element now the also emotions that are connected to these organs are so to uh, stomach and spleen also the emotions are anxiety and overthinking so <clears throat> earth elements can be very much prone to just overthinking on a daily basis from very simple things and this is something if you want to uh, conquer uh, that has to be you really have to devote a lot of energy to conquer this chit chat or that monkey mind or that inner uh, judger that's sitting there in the mind and constantly analyzing everything and overthinking it's something earth element specifically has to master so um another thing maybe is that uh, earth element is very much so very natural it's it it, it loves to be in nature it, it also loves animals so a lot of veterinarians and, and farmers and and people who are just work have work in nature who need that touch with with the with the nature with the environment are very uh, common earth element so uh, because it helps them to connect with mother earth so in essence, uh, earth element, um, yeah, that's, that's, I would say, the, 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 um, the key aspects of it. It's, it's centered, it's grounded, it's stable, it's practical, and it's a very giving, it's nurturing. It has this Mother Earth, Mother Theresa archetype. At the same time, it has some things it has to overcome, which is resistance to change, overthinking, and anxiety. And... Uh, excessive comfort so this is the earth element and uh, if you know it maybe it's you maybe you know anybody from your uh, family or friends or any people that okay this is my friend so you can share it with them 
and um, maybe you can also in a way improve your uh, social relations by understanding these elements which is one uh, aspect of uh, me uh, trying to, to give these educations but also it's for health and spirituality and, and uh, um, clarity in life and, and other uh, aspects. So if you would like more uh, detailed uh, consultation, I provide them. You can find in the description uh, a virtual calendar where you can book a time when we have a consultation as well as you can just write me uh, to email and uh, we will dig, of course, deeper into your unique personal um, archetype or this uh, full detailed element. And uh, yeah, you, everybody can check it out uh, on the internet for free. So that's that. Uh, I hope you like it. And uh, yeah, have a nice Zen flow the rest of the day. Bye.